are at the parking at Pennsylvania Route 325. I think it's Clarks Valley Road or Clarks Mountain Road. And a huge parking area right up there. Today, or this weekend, we are hiking north up to Swatera Gap from here. I think it's about 15 miles. And we're gonna stop at the Roush shelter on the way. It's about 19 degrees. I was not expecting it to be this cold. Steady grade up. Looks like it's either an old railroad bed or a road. Every now and then you get some coal along the edges. But the grade is very consistent. It's not too steep. It's like one really nice long switchback. The sun's just starting to pop over the edge of the mountain ridge there. So hopefully I will get some warmth soon. What do we got here? Uh, 8.3, all right. Yeah, what's this? Oh. The Horseshoe Trail Register, cool. Looks like there used to be a tower here. Some comfy seats. Look a little cold right now. Northbound. All right, so I just had to turn my bottle upside down. The water, when it freezes, it floats. And when it splashes around, it completely plugged the opening of my water bottle. I couldn't get any water out of it. So after I broke it open and got some water out, I turned it upside down. So when the ice floats to the top, it will freeze up here and not down at the bottom. Yeah. Ice. Campsites here. What do we have? Mail call, Yellow Springs, Old Cold Mining Village Ruins, Yellow Springs Village Register. All right. There's a little blue blaze action. So just east of the tent site, there's an open well here. Uh, yeah, don't fall in that. Let me look here. Well, that's pretty cool.
So that was the stone tower. There's actually a geocache right up the hill from it. That, I ran into some geocachers. They were bagging that. And I think I'm just going to take this blue blaze back down instead of doing the little loop. It's shorter the way, uh, the way back down. So this is about 0.3 up off the AT. And is it worth a stop? Not really, unless you're section hiking. Working down the trail towards the general. I was talking to some people at the shelter, and evidently it is a abandoned steam shovel or something like that. So it sounded pretty neat. They said it was not far off the trail. I'm thinking it's like I don't know, quarter mile or so. We'll see. I looked at the map and relatively flat through here so i don't mind going off trail looks like a stream crossing mm, i'm gonna try that stick there some rocks over there that might work well too might try the rocks first actually okay it's a little further than I thought. It's going to end up being about 0.4 off trail. Hope this is worth it. Hey, that's fun. So there it is, the general. I'm not sure if it's worth 0.4 out and back if you're hiking the AT, but it's kind of weird and interesting. I wonder how they got it in here. It's awfully rocky. I don't see anything that looks like a road. Hey, it's the Cold Spring Trail. Hey, parking area one mile. We're not going that way. We're going that way. So the trail has actually been really flat and easy. One of the easier sections of AT. This is kind of like what it's been looking like uh, for a lot of the way. This almost looks like a road. Maybe it wasn't quite this wide, but still it's flat. Got about 0.2 left to the shelter. And then we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna do. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of like a a hole with a shelter on it. Looks like the purview's up there. And Oh, Judas. <laughs> oh, shoot. 
Can't get any more convenient than that. I like it. Cool. Roof. <laughs> Please don't play on the roof. And then that just goes down. Okay. Well then. Thunder Rock. B? Sure, I'll give it a B. I don't really like that one. It's kind of weird. All right, we're gonna make us some steamed hot dogs. And these are Oscar Mayer turkey dogs. Dump in there, a little bit of water. Let's see, it's uh, icy. Let's see, one, two, three. There we go. Do a quick summary for the day. Started uh, about eight o'clock this morning at Route 325, and it was really cold. It was, I think, 18 or 17 degrees is what the car was saying when I started. And uh, the trail, after about three miles of gentle up, it wasn't bad. The uh, trail was just flat and straight for about 11 miles. Here I am at uh, Roush Shelter. Uh, 11 miles later and uh, tomorrow I think uh, I'm gonna go to Swatera Gap and then figure out how to get back to the car and continue in a different direction. So it was super cold last night, definitely below freezing, all my water froze. And uh, fortunately I put it in my cook pot so I could uh, just heat it up this morning pretty easy. One thing uh, I noticed is that I used a cube of S-Bit instead of alcohol. The S-Bit seems to put out more heat and alcohol, at least it worked really well. Used one cube to bring my uh, two cups of water up to a uh, hot coffee temperature, which was nice. Hiking out to uh, Swatera Gap. I'm not sure where the Roush Gap ruins are. I'm a little pressed for time. I'm not gonna hunt around a lot for them. It's nice here, I can come back and look another day. But I think there's some stuff on this road. 
bit of a weird thing there where they've uh, taken the water from the pipes. Bridge. So we come across this bridge. We got the uh, Water crossing, beaver dam ahead. And the alternate route, which is 1.6 miles. I think it's only 0.3 longer. So we're gonna try the beaver crossing first. If it's too deep, we'll come back and go the other way. I've got a little time. And I uh, also want to see what's down here. So that well thing is actually put in place to reduce the pH of the water, or increase the pH. It's bringing it from 4.0 to 6.0. It uses pulverized limestone. They divert the stream up above and run it down into this well with limestone and then let it come back out. They say it's good for the brook trout and other fish. The pH is so low from old mining operations up in the area from a long time ago. So that's pretty cool. It's below freezing, so I'm hoping the beaver dam is frozen. That would be nice. I do plan on looping back, so I'll take the alternate route on the way back to check that out. See what's up down here. There's a number of uh, campsite looking things. A lot of signs that say only AT hikers caveat that they say through hikers as defined by the direction you leave is not the way the direction you came which I think is pretty cool yeah, that's cool let's go check that out trail goes that way cemetery that way oh, that's kind of cool That's a problem.
Ooh, duck house. Now this is a little squirrely. But I think I can make it. Good news is most of this is frozen. Sorta. Of. wet up there. Can I go this way? Alright, I gotta put this away to go do that. Only got one foot wet. That wasn't too too bad. It was maybe only a hundred yards long and mostly frozen so I could walk on all of it. I did slip in one spot on a branch that was round with ice on it. So I got one of my feet eh, a little bit wet. Didn't go all the way in. But I'll hike that off. It should dry out here in about an hour. One thing I like about the uh, trail runners is they dry really fast. All right, made it up to the other end. That looks like orange trail down there. That's the way I'm going back. Couple of road crossings here. Small road. So that was the crossing. That other way I went with the sand is a little easier. And uh, so this is a little, a little So that's where I came from. And I know the parking is right over there. And uh, I don't think that's where the trail goes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross here. I'm in frogger mode for a sec. And then uh, we'll go look and see what we got here for trail because it's on the other side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's it there. So after I'm done eating lunch here, I'll go back that way. There we go. All right, I've got loopage. Okay, yeah, just to update real quick. That whole frogger thing, you don't have to do that. I was kind of dumb. There's uh, a bridge under the tunnel, so you can just walk underneath, and it's really easy. Um, so yeah, not marked super well, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> 